Hey everyone, so today I have another storing photo cards video. I honestly don't have a lot to put away this time, but I really wanted to film this video anyway just because I want to film an updated collection video at the start of 2023 and I wanted to have all the cards that I have put away. I do technically have a few other cards that I could put away in this video because I'm actually starting a new collection. It's actually a boy group, which I really was not expecting to happen because I really don't even listen to any other boy groups other than EXO. But I started collecting another boy group. I am collecting two members of that group and I, only, I mostly only have cards for one member right now and I don't know exactly how I want to lay their cards out yet. So I decided to just wait until my next story video to put those cards away. And I've mostly been buying stuff for them this month. So I haven't really bought as many cards for other groups, which is part of the reason why I don't have as many cards to put away this time. But again, I wanted to film my collection video, so I decided I would just go ahead and film this now. And they do also have like some slight rearranging that I want to do in two of my binders. So I figured I could also do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with black pink. I do have a few more blue pink cards to put away. So I do have Jenny's other digipack card to put away. I do really wish I would have ended up getting Lisa's before I filmed this video, just so that way I would have had this page finished. But I feel like the end of the year kind of just like snuck up on me, so I didn't even think that about like having to film my collection video and wasn't really thinking about what cards I would need or like what cards I would really want to finish out certain sets. So unfortunately I won't have this page finished. And I do also have one of Jenny's black version cards. I was supposed to have her other card for this, for the black version for this video. And I've had like two cards that I bought like at the end of November that the tracking just randomly stopped updating for. And then for the longest time, it wouldn't even let me contact USPS about them. And then I finally was able to, and I still haven't heard back from them. They called me once while I was at work, and so I didn't have a chance to answer my phone. But I haven't heard anything else. I'm really hoping that those two cards end up showing up because I don't want to have to buy that card again. But I'm glad at least it wasn't one of the gray version cards because her gray version cards are like impossible to find for a decent price. At least I do have one card for everybody for the black version. And then I should have Jenny's last black version Polaroid for my next one video. I don't have anything for the pink version selfie cards. I do finally have one of Rosé's Polaroids. I honestly, I honestly can't wait to have this, to have the Polaroids finished because I feel like some of them are kind of similar and I keep forgetting which cards I still need. So I can't wait to have those out of the way. And then I do have was a gray version. So I think this is the only page I don't have at least one card for all of the members just because again Jenny's gray version cards are so hard to find. So I feel like this is probably going to end up being the last page that I have finished. And then I do have Jisoo's kit version card. So I just need Lisa's and I'm really hoping that won't be too hard to find. And then I just need Jisoo's Digipack pre-order card for this page. And I don't have any other album cards, and I just have one of Lisa's pre-order benefits. I have no idea what store this card is from, but it is, like, it is one of her holographic cards. So I'm just gonna put that there. I might end up rearranging this page once I get more of her pre-order cards, but I'm really not in a rush, and I kind of want to focus on the album cards before I worry about those. And that was everything. Or black pink. I don't have any non-album stuff for them this time. And so next I'm gonna do Dreamcatcher. I am gonna move Espa out of this binder and into my other binder, like my other girl groups binder. But I'm gonna wait until after I put away all the cards that I have for this binder. So I just have stuff for Apocalypse Followers. I am going to rearrange this collection a little bit. I did finally buy the rest of the albums that I needed. 
changed my mind about what I wanted to collect for this album so many times, and I think I finally decided what I'm gonna do. So I don't think I'm gonna collect the ID cards, because honestly, I don't really like ID cards, and the only reason I was gonna collect them was because I pulled GU, but now I really don't feel like collecting those. And at one point, I was gonna collect three Shion cards for this album, since I did collect her for Apocalypse Save Us. But then I decided not to, and I'm just going to stick to two members again. But then I ended up pulling three of her cards. So I decided I'll just collect those three cards. And then just collect Jiyu and Yuhyun for the rest of the cards, which is originally what I was going to do. So I'm going to end up doing that again, so I have to reorganize everything. So those are the three cards of hers that I pulled. So I'm going to put those on this page. for the platform versions so I put those cards at the top I don't have I don't have any of the fans cards for that so I'm just gonna stick the white sleeve in there and then I have the yellow back and the blue back selfies I am just collecting the normal version cards I'm not gonna try with the limited versions for her so I'm gonna put this card in the middle and then this one down here. And then I do have Jiu's yellow back selfie. And then I don't have any of the other cards for this page. Now I have to try and remember how I wanted to lay out the rest of the cards. So I finally decided on a layout. So I'm going to put the two limited concept cards at the top. And then I'm going to put the two limited selfie cards in the middle. And since I have GU's ID card, I'm just going to put hers in the middle. But I'm not going to make it a priority to get Yuhyun's. So if I never end up getting it, I'll be fine with that. And then I'm going to put the two normal version concept cards at the bottom. So let me think... I'm happy with that. I'm not collecting the PVC card from the platform versions because I was only gonna pull. I was only gonna collect them if I ended up pulling either of their cards, but I didn't. I think I pulled Dami and Hendong if I remember correctly. And I feel like just because the cards are so much thicker that I don't really care to end up getting them. So I'm gonna put white sleeves in the extra two spots. So I did actually have Jeeves' other limited concept card on the way, and that's the other card that the tracking just randomly stopped updating for. So I'm really hoping I find out what happened to those cards at some point, and hopefully I'm able to get them, because I really don't want to have to buy that card again. But I am glad I at least have all of her other limited cards, so you don't have to worry about those. So I just need that card her other normal concept card and then one more of her selfie cards and then I'm done. It, I'm glad that I like, rearranged this collection because now I feel like I really don't have as much left to collect as I thought I did which is nice but I do still need a lot more for Yuhyun. I was really lucky with pulling her before I collected her but since I actually started collecting her I just never pull her anymore. I don't think I pulled a single one of her cards for this album, which is annoying. I do have... I, I can't remember if I pulled this or if I ended up buying... No, I, I'm pretty sure I bought that one. So I just have two of her cards. I have a lot less progress. So, that card is first, and then I'll just put this one here. So I'm still missing two of her limited version cards. Since I'm not 
planning on getting her ID card. I was going to do a six layout for her. I do feel like I've been struggling to collect this album a little more than I have like their last comeback and honestly like all the other comebacks that I've collected for them. And I don't know if it's just like partly because I didn't like this comeback as much as I liked Apocalypse Save Us. And I also think like having those three limited cards from Save Us that I still can't find has kind of annoyed me too. And I feel like it's made me less motivated to collect for this album. We can make some progress on that. And then I did pull this Honda card and I really liked it. So I'm, I'm gonna end up keeping that. So I'm gonna keep that card too. I have been trying to limit the cards that I keep for the other members that I don't collect. But I did like all like the two cards of hers that I pulled. So I wanted to keep those. And then for 3 JSM, I just have some sequence cards. And then for sequence, I do have one of the last two Yoram cards that I needed. So I just need Subin's Jewel Case version and then Yoram's other version. Other card for that version. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. And slowly getting it. And then for this set, I do have one of the other numbers. And I do have Also have this Yanjong card that's not from the set that I'm just gonna stick on the back of there. So I am getting kind of close with sequence, but it's still taking me a bit. I'm honestly mostly worried about getting Sudan's jewel case card because the jewel case cards are a lot harder to find. And then for La Seraphim, I did buy all but one of the versions of the album that I still needed. So I did buy Chaewon's like compact version and two of the photo book versions. I still need to get one of the other ones. And unfortunately I didn't end up pulling her. The only card of hers I pulled was the unit card that I already have. But I did buy one of her compact version cards. So I at least just need two more of those. And I did also pull this card that I'm just gonna stick on the back for now. Because I don't want to sell any of the cards for the two members that I'm thinking about collecting if I would collect three members. And then I am going to put the postcard that I got. I did not end up pulling the same postcard on both albums. So I do only have one to put away. And I am actually going to move the Seraphim a little further up in this binder. I do like having all my groups organized in alphabetical order. So I'm going to move them after Dreamcatcher. So now this binder is organized in alphabetical order again. I am going to take Espa out of this binder and put them in the binder that I have Red Velvet in. And then I'm going to actually downsize my Red Velvet collection. Because I finally decided what I want to do with them. I feel like struggling for probably like over a year now of whether or not I wanted to keep collecting them. So now I only have three groups in this binder. I feel like it was because I have so many Dreamcatcher cards, I was starting to get kind of full. So I'm glad, even though Espa's collection really isn't that big, I did want to take someone out of here. And I figured it would kind of make the most sense to put Espa with Red Velvet 
And then I will change out the cover of this binder at some other point. So now I feel it's going to go at the front of this binder. And then I don't have anything to put away in here. But I am reorganizing this collection. So originally when I was collecting Red Velvet at first, I was collecting three members, Yuri, Joy, and Solgi. But it just got way too hard. And I did, I feel like I like literally didn't enjoy collecting that much at their finale because those cards were so hard to find and they were so expensive. So I ended up dropping down to just one member and then I feel like I really haven't worked on this collection at all and I just couldn't decide what I wanted to do with it because like part of me kind of just wanted to like downsize it all together and just stop collecting them but at the same time I didn't really want to get rid of all the stuff that I had for them and didn't want to like sell their albums or anything. So I decided what I'm going to do is just keep one card for every album that I have because I, I do still have like a decent amount of Joy and Soul V cards. And so I think I'm going, I do have like all of my other cards that I have here. So I'm just really quickly going to pull all of these out and then decide what I want to keep for each album. And then decide what I want to keep for each album. There are a few albums. There are a few albums that I do have more than one copy of that I think I'm just gonna keep more than one card for. So then these are all the other cards I have for the other members. It is mostly just Joy and Solgi because those were the two other members that I was collecting. And I think I've, I've pretty much sold all of the other Wendy and Irene cards that I had. So I don't have any of... So I just have Yuri for their first two albums and I don't have a card from the Velvet because I'm pretty sure I sold whoever I pulled. And then I just have Yuri for Russian Roulette. Then for Rookie, I do have two Rookie albums because I think I have Joy's cover and Harry's cover. So I am just going to keep the Soli card that I have. And then for Red Summer, I do have both cards for all three of the members that I collected. And I pretty sure there was only one version of that album so i think i'm just gonna keep this joy card i kind of want to keep two red summer cards i'm just gonna keep two cards but then get rid of these other four Perfect Velvet, I'm only going to keep one card. I think I want to keep the Solgi card. I do only have one, one album version and I don't feel like attached enough to the rest of the cards that I feel like I want to keep them. And then for the Perfect Velvet, Perfect Red Velvet, I only have one copy of that album too. And then I don't have any of the Aries cards. So you just have these three. I think I kinda wanna keep this Joy card because I pulled it. But I kinda wanna keep this Solgi. I think I like the Solgi card more. I'm going to go with that one. Okay, so for Summer Magic, I have... I only have Joy and Yuri for the limited versions. And I don't have any of the normal version cards. 
but I'm honestly, I think I'm fine not having one of the cards. And I don't feel like I need to get them. I don't know about the limited clear cards. I might just keep all three of them because I do have I might just keep all three of them since I do have two limited albums and I don't have a card from the normal version. So I think I'm just going to do that. I might change my mind at some point. But I really don't care either way about the limited version cards. Right, and then for, for Really Bad Boy, I do have two copies of the album. So I and I already know I'm keeping this joy so I think I'm gonna keep that eerie and that joy and then we do have Soggy set and then Yuri's other card that I need to sell and then I think I'm gonna have to check which cards are which version for day one at the Rubber Festival Yuri's version and Solgi's version, but I already know that I'm keeping this card because this is one of my favorite cards. So I'm pretty sure these are from the normal photo book version, and these are from the member versions. I need to double check that. So these are from like the regular album versions and then these were from the member versions so I'm just going to keep that Solgi card and then I'm going to keep one Yuri card and one Solgi card since I do have two of the member versions Two, I only have one version of each version of the album, and I can't remember if there's member versions, but if there were, if there was, I think those were the member versions, and then that was like the the regular album version. I just have one card off so those are the, from the same version and those four are from the same version and I think I honestly could be wrong but I'm just gonna go off the backs of these cards so if you want to keep that joy card and I think I'm going to keep that Yuri card because I do think I pulled that one. And then for our festival finale, I do have five cards. So I think I'm just going to keep all of these because the finale cards are so hard to get. So I do have one Irene, two Joy, and then two Yeri cards, which I honestly don't know what versions any of these cards are from, but I'm just going to keep them all. And then I don't have any Queendom albums. Okay, I'm just going to keep the one card that I have from Queendom. And then I do have three, feel, four Feel My Rhythm cards. So I'm just going to keep one Wendy card and then keep the other two cards that I have. 
don't even know if these are from the same version or not, but I'm just going to keep one card with the green back and then one card with the other back. Then I just have one random Wendy card and one random Irene card. So now, I didn't mention it, but I do just have these random Dreamcatcher stickers right here because I didn't know where else to put them. So they're just sitting in there. Right, so I just need to get a card for the velvet, but honestly, if I don't get one, it's really not that big of a deal. But I, I feel like I'm happy with this. If I do end up buying any of like their future comebacks, I'm probably just going to keep whoever I pull instead of trying to collect anyone. But for now, I think I'm... I'm good with this. I have this giant stack of cards that I need to sell now. But I honestly feel a lot better about this collection now, knowing that I really don't have to worry about finding any cards because I'm good with what I have. Okay, so that was everything for this video. The next video will be my collection update video, which should hopefully be up like the first week of January. And then I should hopefully have a unboxing of EXO's 2023 season's greetings sometime at the beginning of the year as long as it doesn't take forever to ship. I did buy one of the uh, one of EXO's SMCU albums but I bought that with my season's greetings so that hasn't shipped yet either and I'm not planning on filming an unboxing of that because I only got the one version it'll be kind of late by the time I get the album and then hopefully it won't take too long for me to be able to film another story video so I can set up for the new boy group that I'm collecting, which I do have. I do already have some cards saved up for that. So my next story video is definitely going to be the most boy group cards I've ever had to put away in one video. Okay, but that is everything for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.